what is up guys welcome back to another day in my life vlog so today i wanted to try out a new breakfast recipe with you guys and then i also wanted to touch on a topic that i think is really important which is how to deal with anxiety in the gym i just have a couple of tips that i wanted to share with you and then i also want to get in a workout so those are basically the plans as of right now and then we'll just see whatever else we get up to but i really hope you enjoyed the video and let's just get this day started so i feel like i'm always lacking in the healthy breakfast idea department I just eat the same things like every single day I mean I switch it up a little but not really I only have like a couple meals that I switch between so I thought we would add another you know idea to the list switch things up it's nothing too crazy but it is very quick easy and delicious so what more could you really ask for so that means any of you guys can easily make it too it's just a healthy breakfast quesadilla so obviously nothing revolutionary here but sounded delicious I've never tried this recipe before so let's make it and yeah eat some good food we have very minimal clean ingredients here which are my favorite kind of recipes so we have some eggs salt and pepper an avocado oregano spinach and then I'm gonna be using these organic olive oil whole wheat wraps from Trader Joe's they are really good makes you forget about the types of things you remind me of the arizona thunder satisfy the times and make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life the simple times in the arizona thunder the arizona thunder tonight realized I forgot to mention two key ingredients which is hot sauce I'm gonna be using some sriracha and then also some cheese you should use shredded cheese but I don't have any right now so I'm just gonna be using some sliced Swiss cheese and it's gonna melt anyway so I feel like it'll be perfectly fine days to nocturnal days makes you forget about all types of things you remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfy the times and make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life. The simple times in the Arizona Thunder, the Arizona Thunder tonight. did it guys it looks pretty good it was actually a little tricky because the first one that I made I ended up burning it because I had the heat on too high so I'm actually gonna give that one to Ari because he doesn't mind when things are burned looking at this one now I could have cooked it a little longer but I was just too scared to burn it again so yeah it is still like toasty though luckily it's still got a little bit of crunch going on so we are gonna try it I ended up topping it off with some oregano and yeah so that was the finishing touch now we are going to try it I'm excited mm. let's get my hair out of here it tastes amazing not very shocking considering it's just a breakfast quesadilla I mean how wrong could you really go with that but I do think it needs a little more hot sauce. That is my personal preference. I would like it to be a bit spicier. I thought I put like a lot on, but I'm not really getting it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this, but I feel like it turned out really good, you know? I burned the first one, but that's okay. All right, and it's time to get in our workout of the day. I promised myself I would work out today, so I am keeping that promise. I'm still very sore from my leg day. I've been like waddling around because my legs are just so tight and sore. I think I might have overdone it, but you know, going back now, so we are just dealing with it. I'm letting my body rest until the next leg day. So we're just gonna focus on abs. I'm probably just gonna do like a Chloe Ting ab workout, the usual. Definitely make sure to stick around because after my workout I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna sit and chat about how to deal with anxiety in the gym I know this is a very common concern for people so I just really wanted to talk about it and yeah I have some really helpful tips for you guys so if you want to hear them 
love it. Make sure to stick around. Chloe Tang actually came out with a new ab workout, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna do that right now. It's get abs in two weeks. I know she's gonna kill me with this one, so wish me luck. I just made some protein iced coffee. I've seriously been obsessed with it since I discovered it. I've already made it several times. It's just so delicious. I just love how easy it is to make. It's literally chocolate protein powder, some milk, and some coffee. So freaking simple. Throw it in a blender, blend it up, add some ice, and you're good to go. And it's just so yummy. It's got like foam on top. Like, it's just perfect. All right, so in my last video, I got a comment asking me for tips on how to deal with anxiety in the gym. That's actually what inspired me to talk about this today. I just thought it was a really important topic that I know is a very common concern for a lot of people. So I just thought I would share my tips that help me be confident in the gym. So whether you're working out in an apartment gym or a public gym, it can still be very intimidating because obviously you don't want to embarrass yourself or feel awkward. Like, dude, I'm just trying to work out here. So tip number one is very key and that is to wear clothes that make you feel confident. For me personally, anything from Gymshark makes me feel like super cute and secure and I just feel my best when I'm wearing their clothes. But there is tons of affordable clothes on Amazon too. I've actually been thinking about copying some myself. What you're wearing definitely affects your confidence. So it's just really important to make sure you're wearing clothes that make you feel good. Secondly, I would highly recommend planning out your workouts ahead of time before you even go to the gym just so you go in there knowing exactly what you want to do and then you're not wandering around the gym lost wondering what you should do next then I would recommend maybe looking up some tutorials on YouTube of the exercises that you're planning on doing as for me that was definitely something that I always would get embarrassed about I would just be worried that I was doing the exercise wrong and that I looked like a fool so then I started looking them up before I went to the gym and I would come in there feeling so much more confident because I had more of an idea of how to actually do the exercise. You can totally pull up the tutorial on your phone as well while you're at the gym. You can just like keep your phone kind of like, you know, a little secretive if you want to, if you don't want people to know that's what you're looking at. But honestly, like it's super helpful and you don't want to hurt yourself doing the exercise either. You want to make sure you have really good form. So, you know, it's just like a win-win all around. I promise they do not care. These people are in their own little worlds. Like they're only worried about themselves. I have to try to remember that they're there to work out too. So I guarantee they are not really worried about you. They may glance at you or think about you for like a split second, but I I promise it'll pass very quickly and then they'll be right back to their own workout in their own little world and that's just how people work but something that's really helped me avoid being embarrassed from people's glances is simply just not even looking at them like I would not just sit there and like look around and check who is looking at me. That is like a big no-no because it's obviously gonna make you feel super insecure and it's just gonna make you feel really awkward. So just don't even look at people, just focus on your workout and get it done. And even if they do look at you, that doesn't necessarily mean they're judging you. I mean, they honestly could be just looking off into the distance and just mindlessly looking around. I mean, I've done that so many times and somebody probably thought I was looking at them when in reality, I wasn't even looking at anything. And it also really helps to pop in some headphones and just kind of tune out the world and get your workout in Listen to some uplifting music and as you continue to do these things I promise you'll become even more confident in the gym like when I go there now I literally don't even like care about anyone there I'm just there to work out like you guys know I film my workouts there Like do you think I care what these people think about me? No, like plenty of people have seen me filming and yeah Sometimes I feel a little awkward, but I just don't look at them. I do not look at them 
with them. I don't care what they're thinking. I just focus on what I'm doing. But yeah, those are all the tips that I have for you guys. I really hope they help you out. I promise the gym is not as scary as it seems. I do personally prefer working out in an apartment gym if you have that opportunity because obviously there's less people in that gym and also because I don't like when the equipment that I like to use is taken. That is the most annoying thing ever. Okay, wait, I have one quick bonus tip for you guys and that is to practice your exercises at home before you go. Now once you actually get to the gym, you've already practiced the exercise so you kind of already have a good idea of how to do it so you just feel so much better doing it there and a lot more confident. Obviously if you need some gym equipment, you might not be able to do this but you can kind of pretend that you have it and still kind of work on your form. Researching your workouts before you go is going to be your best friend so definitely make sure to do that. It helps so much. guys i think i'm gonna end the video off here i'm not really gonna be doing anything else too exciting i'm probably gonna make some dinner in a little bit but i'm not feeling too great at the moment for some reason i'm thinking it was the protein powder because sometimes not every time but i'll get a little ill from protein powder i don't know why that is so that's unfortunate but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment and follow me on instagram and i will see you in my next one bye